Hello all. In this video, we are going to see the new feature of Informatica Lookup Transformation, which got introduced after Informatica 9.0 release, and that feature is passing all matching rows to the next transformation. So our mapping structure will be something like this. We'll have a source as a relational table. Uh, we'll keep this relational table as a departments table from HR schema. After that, we'll do the lookup on lookup on employees table. Uh, on the basis of department ID, which is present in the departments table as well as in the employees table. Uh, after that, we'll use joiner and we'll pass employees data from employee table and departments name from departments table to the target, which is a flat file. Let's start creating the mapping first. Then create um, uh, lookup test. Our source is departments table target is flat file which will have four ports three first three are coming from the employees table and last one is coming from the departments table so we'll do the lookup on employees table transformation create lookup pass all rows now if you see here there is a checkbox at uh, below uh, written all values on multiple match so this particular checkbox was not there prior to 9.0 release so after after 9.0 release they have introduced this checkbox so before that only one uh, row you could pass to the next transformation but now all matching rows uh, all matching rows from the lookup transformation you can pass to the next transformation so we'll check this trans uh, check this uh, checkbox so that now the lookup will transfer all the matching rows to the next transformation so basically this lookup became active transformation now as uh, number of incoming rows are getting changed we have created the lookup transformation we don't require remaining ports apart from employee id first name last name and a department id We'll remove all other ports. We'll pass department ID. So the condition will be based on department ID. Now our requirement is something like this. We need employee ID, first name, last name from employees table and a department name from departments table. So we'll we'll try we'll first connect first three ports to the target and we'll try to connect employee name to the target. But if you see Informatica is no, not allowing me to do that. The error below is saying that concatenation disallowed on transformation employee active transformations. So what's happening is I was uh, lookup lookup uh, this uh, lookup which we have created became the active transformation and you cannot concatenate uh, one passive and one active transformation simultaneously so to actually do that or to join these two particular transformation you need to have a joiner in between so we'll create joiner joiner for employee and departments now we'll join this again on the basis of department id keep the department symbol and again these two ports will pass here now the joiner condition will be based on the department id we'll keep that as master outer join Now it will allow me to connect these ports. I'm saving the workflow, saving the mapping. Let's check whether mapping is invalid state. It's saying that mapping mapping is still invalid state. Why it's saying that? That's because the error over here. Each input joiner 
must originate from the different source so what's happening over here is joiner expect both the sources which are participating in the joiner condition should be from two different sources if those are not then you need to select or you need to select this sorted in sorted input i will check this sorted input apply okay i will again save it and now the mapping is in valid state so we'll save this mapping we'll create a workflow now generate workflow silo rcl next finish i'll disconnect it I look up source connection or RCL target connection file writer. You need to give file name. I will give file name a uh, target file directory and file name will be employee department info dot csv. I'll run the workflow. So if you see here, source qualifier uh, gave 27 record. That means in departments table there were 27 records exist, 27 different departments ID, and at target totally 122 records got inserted. That means for one department ID there were many employee employees records exist, and because of that, as we have selected pass all the matching rows to the next transformation, Informatica inserted totally 122 records. Thanks for watching this video.